D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video, and you can read them for yourself, or you can just watch this video where I'm going to basically read it to you. Also, before I get just started, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm, and small channels like mine, we just keep getting shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. All right, so now that we got that business out of the way, why don't we go ahead and get started? Okay, you guys. So I want to just say this real quick before we get into this article. I need you guys to take this one with a grain of salt because I've gotten my hopes up too many times for this to be one of those things where I'm going to be all like, yay, it's real. But I have hopes. <laughs> okay, so this comes from Inside the Magic and they say Disney reportedly fires Rachel Zegler from Snow White live action. I want to tell you what I think about this because... Yeah, I'll give you my thoughts on it. Just let me read this article a little bit. I, long story short, I don't think it's real, but we'll see. Okay. In the past, Disney has been known to remove actors from their franchises if bad publicity was at hand. Now, reports are claiming that they have done this with their upcoming Snow White live action film, following a large amount of scandal and drama that the film is undergoing before a trailer had even been released. And well, that's a fun, that's a fun little thing of, of Snow White. I love Snow White, even though Snow White really doesn't do anything in that movie. <laughs> if you have been following the live action Snow White drama as of late, which if you haven't been, I've done plenty of videos on it. I'll leave it in the iCard section so you guys can check them out. But uh, yeah, you know that many Disney fans are not too happy with the lead actor, Rachel Zegler, who has shown a lot of hatred towards the original storyline of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves from 1937. Yes, she has. Um, in fact, she, you know, remember, she, she said, um, I just meant it's not 1930s. The, the, the movie is 19, is very much uh, 1937 and rightfully so. Uh, weird, weird. Anyways, the film that kicked off the Walt Disney entry into the world of feature films in 1937 has remained beloved for years. Yeah, I love that movie, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Like I said before, even though Snow White doesn't really do anything in that movie, it's still like, I love that movie. I could watch, it's so, it's so pure and it's, so, you know, just heartfelt and you can just, I don't know, you can just watch it and not have to worry about getting a, a message. You know what I'm saying? Uh, making a uh, remains. So when Disney announced that they would be making a live action of the first ever Disney princess, many were excited. Not this kid. Disney cast Latina actress Rachel Zegler in the role, and although her ethnicity did cause a little backlash considering Snow White's skin is meant to be as white as snow, very true, many were happy with the casting choice as Zegler uh, had recently shared singing Chops as Maria in Steven Spielberg's West Side Story, which she did. Listen, I, I have to give credit where credit is due. She did a good job in that movie. And she did a good job also in Shazam 2 Fury of the Gods. Now, here's the thing, though. Those movies were bombs. Those movies did not make money, you guys. So, and I can tell you right now, nobody's coming to a movie to see Rachel Zegler. Nobody, nobody. So I, you just, you just have to put chalk it up to she has... In my opinion, no name recognition. And I'll talk about her just a little bit more. Since then, things have taken a dark turn. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. We have, as of late, seen Disney look to be more inclusive, both on screen and with their theme parks. Disney launched the Reimagine Tomorrow initiative, stating that we haven't always got it right. This came after the cast member dress code changed when it came to the Disney look allowing cast members to express themselves more while at work. On top of that, we have already heard of the prog progress coming along on the new Princess and the Frog attraction, Tiana's uh, Bayou Adventure, that is replacing Splash Mountain. All right, I'm going to skip this because that doesn't matter to this part in terms of Zegler getting, getting got, you know what I'm saying? Let's see. 
Disney also has really shaken things up by casting actors of any race into live action characters that were originally animated as Caucasian. For years, Disney has stuck to the animated look of these characters, bringing them to life on attractions and within the parks and really hammering a certain look into the minds of guests and fans. So when they announced the iconic character like Ariel from The Little Mermaid would be played by Gronish star Halle Bailey, the internet blew up in uproar. I mean, they did. It was a bad choice. I have to be honest with you. But if they, I also have to say, if they would have cast a white girl, that movie still would have sucked. That movie sucked balls. I did a review on it. You can check it out. Leave it in the art card section. But that movie was just terrible. I mean, and I'm sorry. Like, you just, you have to ask yourself. I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, was was casting a black girl good for that? Because uh, I'm pretty sure that did not help anything, especially the argument. Anyways, and it, it lost so much money. It lost, so it's a flop of the year for sure. It was certainly not against Hall uh, Haley's talent and ability to play the role. That's true. Halle Bailey, I was a fan of hers beforehand. She's very talented and everything. I'm going to skip this part also just to go down. I'm I just want to read this part right here. Most of the upcoming Snow White live action film starring Rachel Ziegler and Gal Gadot has hit some heat. There are two main instances that caused fans to be outraged of the upcoming film. Firstly... There will be no dwarves in the film, but seven magical creatures, which uh, which deviates from the iconic story that Walt Disney himself created on screen. The second comes from an interview Zegler and Gogodo did saying that Snow White will not be saved by the prince and there is no one who needs to, to save her. At that point, uh, let me just call, call, go down here again. Sorry, you guys. I forgot how long this article was. All right, here we go. Now, a new rumor has been revealed, which notes that Zegler has been fired by the Disney company and ousted from her role as Snow White. This would follow recent reports that claim Zegler is no longer set to star in Paddington 3. Thank God. Also, this series of films starring the lovable bear has grown into one of the most successful family franchises. I love those Paddington movies. Zegler has reportedly been cut from the film and will be recast as a result of ongoing Hollywood strikes. These strikes started months ago and have affected countless projects, both in the television world as well as film production. Now TikTok user Wood and Russell is claiming Disney fired their princess star, the creator states, she has recently been fired from Disney's remake on Snow White and that she was starring in. The TikTok the TikTok goes on to note that Zegler was problematic in West Side Story and now Snow White. The creator states that Disney fired Zegler for her vile personality during interviews to a loss of millions of dollars. Although tons of comments have flooded their viral video, the majority of them in celebration of the news, there is no source stated for the information in the video. So it is still a reported statement and not fully confirmed. All right, that's all I'm going to read of this article, just because it's so long. I forgot how long it was. I apologize for that. But I just want to say real quick my thoughts. I don't think this is true. And the reason is because they've already spent so much money on this movie filming. It's done, from what I understand. The movie is done. So here's the thing. If, and like, if you remember, it, the the set burned down um, and they had to rebuild that, there's pictures of of that have been released, which I think it looks terrible. You know, the dwarves are are not in there. They're all like magical creatures and there's women in there. It just seems to me like it's just going to be bad, you guys. It's going to be bad. Flopperella all the way around. It's not going to be good. So, but I don't believe because I don't think Disney wants to spend any more money on this nonsense. They've already spent so much money on this. I think that at this point, maybe they're just going to be like, release it. And then just let's, you know, maybe not have her in Paddington 3 or have her in anything else that we got going forward. But we'll see how this turns out. And if she did get fired, good. I don't feel bad for her. Uh, she she did what she did. She deserves, you like the Joker said in the Joker, uh, you get what you freaking deserve. And she deserves this. And I don't feel bad for her. So uh, boo freaking who for you, Rachel Zegler. Tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? Tell me, how do you guys feel about this r rumor that Rachel Zegler has been fired from Snow White? Do you believe it? Do you not believe it? Do you think it's true? Do you not think it's true? 
What do you think they're going to do with all that nonsense? Do you believe me? Are you with me? And you don't, you don't think it's true. They've already spent way too much money on this nonsense. So they just want to get it out there and get rid of it and then not hire her for anything else. Or do you think it's true and she's gone? She's get got and they're just going to, you know, hire somebody else and refilm everything. Tell me what you guys think about this. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.